I'm no expert on DaVinci Resolve Studio um, but I'm using it for this purpose because the magic mask tool in it is absolutely amazing now look at this crazy guy with an alien vaporizing gun running around I don't know what he's up to but we're going to go a bit further and see if we can find out so we go into the color tab next okay and then we move the clip back to the beginning uh, what we need to do then is to make sure the magic mask tool is selected and also the plus and minus tools that you can use on here okay so they are selected now we need to draw a line down our subject uh, and then press this play key here to track him all the way through the clip uh, it doesn't really take too long depending on the speed of your machine I guess um, anyway he's tracking now so you've got all these controls here that you can use when you've tracked him to improve it in any way that you see requires doing but to be honest I've found that it works normally pretty well without having to play with those but we'll see what happens um, there we go we're nearly finished this um, I mean I think the, the results from this normally come out so well and I only use this program for magic masking I've not used it for anything else but um, we'll see how we get on I might play with it some more anyway that's that that's been masked now and we can turn on the highlight there which will remove all the background and now we can scroll back on this red line and just check that everything's been removed okay and really it's not done a bad job at all quite happy with that uh, just for demonstration purposes we now need to draw a line from this blue box to here which is changing the node so that we can save the mask that we've just created okay so we click the deliver tab uh, give it a name I'm going to call it man select the location where you wish to save it and save it add to render queue render there we go it's done it already jolly good um, right next we need to go into the color tab again and put the little node line back where it was at the top like that okay um, what I'm going to do now is bring the mask that we've just saved back into the program again because we're going to use it again so here we go we're going to import that mask let's find it in there right -o. there's the mask bring it back jolly good okay next thing we do is go to the edit tab highlight the clip and right click on it with the mouse and select new fusion clip then we go into the fusion tab like that now we've got a media in media out we drag them up so we've got room to drag the mask down and join it to the media in like that then we select the media in and we go up to settings on the right there and change alpha to red and there you go that is the finished clip um, the backgrounds all gone all we've got to do now is export it and save it so we click on deliver now there are loads of different settings you can use and I've found out that the best ones are the ones I'm going to explain so we select where we want the clip to be saved like that then we need to select individual clips quick time GoPro Cineform RGB 16 bit and export alpha 
then we need to change pre-multiplied to straight then we just add to the render queue and render the clip that's it that's being saved brilliant now all I'm going to do is come out of this program and go into another one so I'm inside Premiere Pro now which is the software that I prefer to use for video editing and I've got a clip of a saucer which I'm dragging onto the timeline and then above it I'm going to put the clip that we made earlier of the silly man running around with the alien gun so now all I've got to do is line the two clips up so they look something like it and you can double click on the top clip and then you can reposition it how you feel best um, and then when you're happy with that jobs are good and um, I will shorten back the saucer clip to be the same length yeah that looks good I'll shorten back the saucer clip now and make it the same length and then I've got a couple of bits that I want to add on to the end of it and I will show you the finished clip very shortly I'm not playing any sound on this clip but you get the idea thank you so much for watching and I hope you found it useful or even funny <laughs> your own imagination is the limit to playing around with this